Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel Learn Math with Mr. Saad for another video lesson. Today's lesson for grade 4, chapter 2, lesson 6, subtract whole numbers. Page number is 93. As you can see by the name of the lesson, we are going to subtract the whole numbers, okay? Not the decimals, just the whole numbers. Subtraction of whole numbers is similar to addition as we did in the last lesson okay you might need to regroup as I told you regrouping in addition here in the first example guys we have to minus 957 from 3214 the same thing guys in subtraction in addition we can write any number up or down the big one down or the up the small one up we can write it in addition but in subtraction, we always write the big number up and the smaller number down. Okay. Now, add the place values under each other. We don't have 1000 here, so we left the 1000 place. Now, what is regrouping here? See, boys, 4 minus 7. 4 is a smaller number. We can't minus 7 from 4, so we take 1 carry from this one. So, it was only 1, it will be zero okay and we bring one here as its place value is tens so it means we bring 10 here so this 4 will be 14 14 minus 7 that is equal to 7 okay now this 0 we can't minus 5 from 0 so we take 1 from this 2 it will be 1 and this 0 will be 10 if we bring 1 from here with the 0 it will become 10 now 10 minus 5 5 now again we can't minus 9 from 1 so we take 1 from this 3 the 3 will be 2 if we bring 1 with this one it will be 11 11 minus 9 2 and 2 down here clear boys they are writing each step here in this so you can copy it Okay, next page now. Again, now we are subtracting 5 minus 5, 0, 7 minus 4, 3, 2 minus 3, not possible, 3 is big number. So we take 1 from 4, it will be 3, and this will be 12. 12 minus 3, 9, and 3 minus 1, 2, 2930. Okay. Here it is, and there here they told you how we can check our answer. How we can check our answer? The answer we get here, this one, write it up and add the next number. Here, guys, see this. The number from which we minus that is known as minuend. We call it minuend. And the number which we minus that is known as subtrahend. Subtrahend. And the answer of subtraction is known as difference. Difference. Okay. So the big number from which we minus minuend, the small number which we minus subtrahend, and the answer difference. Clear boys? Yeah. So here how we can check our answer. First write the difference here, then the subtrahend and add them. If you get the minuend, it means your answer is correct okay. next one here again 2 minus 5 that is not possible so what we will do we will take 1 from 6 6 will be 5 and 2 will be 12 now 12 minus 5 7 5 minus 4, 1, 9 minus 8, 1, and 2 down here. 5 minus 3, 2, 8 minus 9, not possible. So we will take 1 from 7. 7 will be 6, and this 8 will be 18. 18 minus 9, 9, 6 minus 2, 4, and 4 minus 2, 2 next page now again guys 
independent practice so solve it solve all these questions independently okay from question number three to question number eleven and then you can match your answers from this video here the next three questions the answer of next three questions then down here there is another question again they write the big number up and the next number down and then they minus it and here is the answer uh, leave this question guys no need to do this question leave it okay next page now here there are a total of 1569 tickets for a concert on the first day of sales 875 tickets were sold the following day an additional 213 tickets were sold how many tickets are still available so first you add these two okay add these two 800 let me write it here 875 plus 213 5 and 3 8 7 and 1 8 8 and 2 10 so 1088 tickets sold total were this much now you will minus this from this write this number up 1569 minus 1088 yeah. 9 minus 8 1 6 minus 8 not possible so we will take 1 from here this will be 4 this 6 will be 16 16 minus 8 8 4 minus 0 4 and 1 minus 1 that is 0 so 481 tickets left okay here again this question uh, Mount Everest is 29,029 feet high from base camp at 17,600 feet a climber height 2,300 feet how much farther does the climber have before reaching the summit of the mountain now the total is this much okay so again first you will add these two add these two okay that is equal to 19,900 then you will minus it from the total so 29,029 minus 19,900 equal 9,129 okay in question number 16 guys they're asking about age John Adams was born in 1732 and become president in 1797. Harry S. Truman was born in 1884 and become president in 1945. Who was older when he became the president? So first we will solve John Adam. We have to minus, write this up to find his age okay and 17 32 okay this one and this one okay 7 minus 2 5 9 minus 3 6 so John Adams his age was 65 okay what about the other ones write this one up 1945 and here 18 80 Four. Yellow. Minus 5 minus 4, 1. 4 minus 8, not possible. We take 1 from here. It will be 8 and this will be 14 and 6. And 8 minus 8, 0 and 1 minus 1. So his age was 61 as Truman. Okay. So John Adam was older. And how much older? 4 years. Okay, boys. Uh, in this question number 17, circle the subtrahan subtraction problem that does not require regrouping so you can see from the circle this one don't require the regrouping but you have to tell me in comment the answer of all these four. okay all these four questions you have to solve it and let me know the answer in the comments okay thank you so much guys have a nice day and don't forget to subscribe like and share